Hi guys. Hey guys. Hey, we are, um, it's Sunday, March 10th. You struggle with the day. <laughs> hey, just a reminder. So you don't have chemo brain. <laughs> Six days before my birthday. I'm just putting it out there. So, <laughs> day 31. So, um, we wanted to update everybody, let everybody know that we've received some news from surgery. Um, um, good Friday, news. Friday evening, yes. But good news. Good news. And um, Brian is a numbers guy, so he likes that it's the lucky number seven video. Yeah, so we just got to trust the process. So um, we, we, we believe in that. And um, we talked a little bit about gambling earlier that we don't have to touch <laughs> on. But uh, yeah, we think uh, it just worked out the way it's supposed to for our lucky seven video. And, and uh, so the results from the surgery that Heidi's talking about. When they did the double mastectomy, they essentially take all of the breast in, and uh, I'm picturing it's like when we were all in, in middle school and we dissected the frogs, <laughs> that they they essentially dissect the breast in a variety of ways to, to kind of see where it is, where it's spread, if there were some little tumors, to find the source. There's just a variety of things that they, they yeah. do, so I'm picturing it, it's like They've got a Ginsu knife and they're just chopping through and making a board. So we've got uh, some results. Yeah. So looking at my sheet here. So my left breast was negative. Um, Which is a positive. Yeah. So nothing was there. The right side tested non-invasive, but they did have a small spot that um, was invasive and was fast growing. Um, so we're not sure what that means. So, but uh, it's... Uh, it's never good when they've got something when they say invasive and fast growing regarding tulips. Right. Yeah. Um, they also told us that they had I had negative margins, which is really good. So on the negative margins, it's basically that they got all the cancer out. So the further they go out and cut everything out, um, as long as there's not cancer, I don't know if it's within so much of the original cancer. Yeah. There's a, so kind of picture a circle, and when they're cutting everything away they want to make sure that there's so much distance so if the margins are a circle and, and let's say this pin is in the center they want to make sure that when they cut it away that there wasn't any cancer close to the margins or still in the margins where they might have to go back in and, 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 cut, more and, and cut more out yeah. so uh, so they got it all which is really good yeah really good um, out of the 10 lymph nodes that they had taken out, um, only one tested positive for cancer, which is a good thing. <laughs> I wish they didn't have to take 10. Yeah, so, uh, you know, the, the, the deal with the lymph nodes being taken out, um, the more you take out, the more uh, chance that you have to be exposed to lymphedema. Dema, yeah. And uh, essentially, that's just fluids that run into that area where the lymph nodes um in other words, Brian doesn't want me to have a giant foam finger. Like, <laughs> so uh, again, don't look it up on Google because it's crazy. We're not going to have that because she's going to do all of her exercises and stretches and massages. But uh, yeah. essentially, all that fluid could run into the right arm, and and uh, you know she could be going go shocks all the time at the game. So we don't have to bring our foam finger, which is easier when we go to the game. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. True story. Okay, so, <clears throat> and we let Jade off for the weekend, which is really good. She, I'm sure now she it's needed, unpaid. It's unpaid. <laughs> I'm sure she needed a break from all of us. Plus, she went up there to see her boyfriend and just yeah. let loose a little bit. So. Yeah, well, all of the above, I'm sure. So, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, no, Jade's been a huge help. But so Jade wanted to when we were talking on the last video about weighing of the breasts. She said, "No, Dad, no, you didn't. You didn't tell the story about." me being involved on weighing the breasts, it's like, no, you know, I didn't tell that, tell, tell that story at all. So what she was talking about was this. <laughs> Sorry, Jade. <laughs> um, but I didn't tell the story, honey. So I, I, I didn't lie. <sighs> so when, uh, we were talking about weighing the breasts, uh, we were in pre, uh, pre, pre mm -hmm. and we were talking about it. Well, Jade is a very hands-on, li literally and figuratively <laughs> person. So she's just like, God, I don't know. You know, remember, she came up with 12 to 15 pounds. So Jade, in all her glory, she goes and grabs Heidi's 
right breast and she's kind of cupping and holding it, weighing it. And about that time the curtain opens and there's a nurse and Jade's got a fistful of dollars and and the nurse is there and and, uh, Jade's not easily embarrassed, but she was embarrassed and she... Yeah, her face was red instantly. She dropped it and I guess by the sound of the drop, that's how she came up with 12 or 15 pounds. So, But Jade, honey, on the last video, we did not tell that story. So uh, I got your back, girl. (laughs) Sorry, Jade. Um, So... Yeah, I guess the only thing that's left really is tomorrow we go see Dr. Vogue again. So please pray that all of my tubes come out. I want all of them to be gone. This will be it'll be day ten, and they say usually from ten to fourteen days. So yeah. I'm really hoping all of them come out. So the tubes. So she's got two on her right, one on her left, and and we drain these tubes three times a day, and it's uh, it's as glamorous as you may think it that it is. It's not. Um, so you're. You know, tugging the tubes down into a container, squeezing those out. It's awful. I'm very good at this. <laughs> Jake's I, I, good I, at I've it. got the hands of an angel. <laughs> so, anyway, let's not interrupt. Babe. Don't mind her. So, we're, we drain the uh, tubes yeah. each day, three times a day, and if it's below 30 cc's total for the day, two days in a row, that means that, that those tubes can come out. So yeah. tubes one and two, which are on the right side, we're at the third or fourth day in with uh, under 20. Yeah. So the chan- likelihood of those coming out is great. Tube three, which was actually the slower tube at first, but as the right side started to slow down, the left picked up. Um, apparently she's leaning to the left a little bit more. <laughs> yes. um, it needs to behave. It needs to stop. Yeah. So... so I feel pretty comfortable two of the three are going to come out, but probably not the third, realistically. So she's going to be tugging around that little tube baby for a while. So no, no, let's get rid of it. So, but that's uh, that's the update. So we'll have one a little bit later in the week. We uh, we yeah, we'll update everyone after we see Doctor Vo, because then we'll see Doctor Cusick and Doctor. Um, Deitch on March 18th. So. And we're going we're gonna to put Deitch on notice about this whole chemo thing since everything's, uh, yeah. since everything's changed. So we're, we're looking at a whole lot of other things. We're, we're going to be our own advocate when it comes to this. And the, we'll talk about this a yeah. little bit more later. So uh, if you've ever heard of the Hoxie Clinic, look it up. So we're, uh, we're keeping all options open when it comes to... Uh, yep her her care and treatment so we're uh we're gonna trust the experts but we're also gonna verify yeah so, so thanks again guys Till next appreciate time. it